final morning. Last chance for the BP Top 100 anglers to cash in on $289,000. Stanley Mitchell, the wire-to-wire -wire leader, is feeling the pressure. There's $46,000 to the winner. Stanley's changed strategy. He's gone to a topwater pop R. His buddy Tom Mann Jr., another Georgia pro, tipped him off to the early morning pattern. Zell Rowland starts on his quick limit topwater fish. Oh yeah, a little peanut bass. This morning, Zell's alternating between a pop R topwater and a spinnerbait. Come to daddy. Your work. Well, I caught me one of them out of here anyway. How's Stanley handling the pressure? Stanley's got a deep bag of tricks. He's fishing a swimming worm, a seven inch super floater rigged with a long shank wire hook. Zell's hooked another one. He's still in the hunt. Oh, she's nipping at it. She saw it rascal. Betting bass are fickle fish. This one's about to get the best of Stanley Mitchell. Golly. She ain't taking it, man. She just messing with it. The final weigh-in. Both front runners have limits, but no heavyweights. Zell Rowland scores eight pounds two ounces and leads with forty-two pounds thirteen ounces. Stanley Mitchell, who won the Bassmasters Classic World Title in 1981, needs five pounds five ounces to taste victory again. And here's the weight Stanley won't soon forget. Stanley's got to have over five pounds, and he does, folks. There it is, eight pounds seven ounces. Bingo, eight seven. That'll make you winner unless some miracle occurs. I don't think it can. I think it's too late. For the record, the final top ten. Stanley Mitchell of Fitzgerald, Georgia, with 20 bass and 46 pounds, the champion. Followed by Zell Rowland and Jay Yellis of Texas. Yes, and in tenth place, Kevin Van Dam, the BASS Angler of the Year. For 1992, he proved to be the best against all the rest. Mm-hmm.
Right now, it's time for the Pro's Pointer, the how-to section of the Bassmasters. Brought to you by Wrangler, the most comfortable jeans known to man. One of the keys here at the end of the tournament was I was catching them on this swimming worm. It, it, the conditions got, it was real sunny, that it got real hot, and the fish were just kind of in a lazy mood, and they just come get this swimming worm. The way I was rigging it, I was sticking it in behind the head, about an inch and a half. Pull it down through, bring the shank part back all the way through to it look kind of like this here. Then you just take this hook, and I had it just a little bit out, so whenever the fish got it, it wasn't real hard to get the hook set. The hook is, is down about an inch and a half from the head of the worm, and, and what that'll do is when your bait gets in around where the fish are, and you see the fish come to the bait, then you can just move it barely a quarter inch or so, where if you got it hooked the other way, it'll move six inches. He won the 1981 Classic. Stanley Mitchell was 21, the youngest Bassmasters Classic champion in history. Nice to see Stan win again. Next week, the Bassmasters are going fishing with Kevin Van Dam, the Angler of the Year. He's quite a story. In only his second season on the Bassmaster Tournament Trail, Kevin's proved to be the best, and he's <laughs> only 24 yet, years yeah. old. Join us as Kevin shows you tips and tactics for catching Michigan smallmouth bass. For the Bassmasters, I'm Bob Cobb. See you all next week.